Hi, my name is Sunny and I have been a food photographer for quite some time and I was waiting to make this video for you guys so that you guys can also learn what food photography is and how you can do it too. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So what exactly is a food photography? Well, a food photography is exactly what its name suggests. A picture of a food or of something that you eat. But what comprises a food photography, you may ask? Well, it comprises of three important things. Number one, that is the lighting. Number two, that is the styling. And number three is the composition. When you put these three things together, you have a power to create a beautiful story that can elicit an emotional response on your viewer. We're going to start with the most important aspect of food photography, that is the lighting. Now, lighting is very important in food photography, primarily because it sets the mood of the food photography. I can have a different set of light to create different mood in my picture. And if you are a beginner, if you're a beginner and just getting started or want to explore food photography, you can always take help of the natural light from maybe from a window, maybe from a balcony, be it anywhere you can take help of the natural light and create stunning food photography. However, if you're someone like me, you can always take help of the artificial light. This is primarily used because a lot of times clients gives you a time when there is no sunlight or in a place where there is no sunlight present. So in order to take pictures in that location, you always have to rely on some source of artificial source of light. For my case, I prefer to use two Godex flashlights and uh, with my camera uh, to create that artificial source. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how I do it and you can learn exactly how a food photograph is shot from in a studio as well as in the client's place. So for my artificial food setup, I use two of this Godex softbox, which is an octagon softbox, as you can see. Uh, it has a TTL flash on the back. Uh, this provides a steady uh, flash for the food photographs that I click on my client's place or when there is no sunlight from the window. Uh, I have two sets of these, which I put them on the front and one on the back uh, as a fill light and the uh, backlight for my subject. And this gives me a reliable source of light when there is no sunlight. Uh, now I'll be discussing on the topic where, where we'll be showing you how we can style our food when we're doing a food photography and what kind of props I use on my food photographs. Now we're going to talk about another important aspect of food photography that is food styling. Now food styling is preferably done with the help of props. Now what are props? Props are everyday objects that we use with our food that helps you to express the mood of the food photography that you're taking. Now, a lot of people try to confuse props and use a lot of props to shoot with. Now, that is not a good idea, primarily because when you're using a lot of props and a lot of colorful props on your food photography the subject is not highlighted so therefore one tip that i can share with you right now is to use neutral color props and before going to props i want to show you what kind of things you require even before you go to the props now here down here you can see i have three boards a wooden board a uh, two uh, uh, ply of uh, styling boards that i use for my food photograph uh, the down one uh, is a feel of rustic backdrop which i use on a indian or a vintage kind of food photography the other one is a reddish uh, uh, a reddish uh, vibrant uh, ply which which shows uh, a very rich kind of food and third one which i use is the brownish uh, textured ply uh, that helps me to tell another type of story for my food photography
In the previous video, we saw how I do the setup of an Indian style of vintage food photography. And you can use many other styles as you wish. This is not your bound to a, a wooden board. You can use various chart papers. You can use marble papers. You can use various other uh, type of backdrops for your food photography. For you, I have sh I'm, I've got two other sets of uh, pieces for a different type of food photography. Uh, the one you can see here is the wooden uh, bowl and the wooden uh, small uh, cut uh, bowls here uh, which we use are uh, typically on a tribal kind of food photography the other one which i have here is the a little bit of dull uh, brown uh, which you can use to highlight your the fish or the meat uh, that you have uh, basically that goes along with the color of this food photography um, and separately i also have this kind of textured clothes which i use often on my food photography uh, the black the the napkin the little bit of shiny the the gunny back uh, type of texture the red and the other other bronze kind of texture as a food prop and next i'll be talking about how do i create a composition for my food in the next uh, part. Last part, I'm going to talk about the composition of the food photography. Now, what do we mean by food composition? Food composition means the type of uh, arrangements and bringing all the things that we have done before together and showing it on the frame that is what the composition is all about now as I have shown you this food setup here I'll show you there are three types of composition we can do on food photography the first one is the 45 degree angle in which we shoot the photos in this manner uh, we just go in front of the picture and then we gonna uh show you uh this way this is the 45 degree where we show you the food in in the frame of the eye as we see the food photos and the other part uh which i'm gonna talk about is the second uh most important uh composition is the top the flat lays now during the flat lays what happens is we take the photos just above the food uh, you can use a small rig or a setup of uh, where you connect your camera just over the top of the food and take beautiful photos or otherwise you can just take a tool and just stand and take your photo whichever thing is easy for you you can do that and the last and not least is the handheld position in the handheld position what we do is we hold the item or the plate or the bowl in the hand that shows uh, a person uh, behind this adds a human element to the food and uh, you can uh, vary between formal informal matching with the t-shirt kind of arrangements to bring out different compositions in your food so these are the basic three compositions we do in a food photography in this video we'll be talking about what kind of gears you need to use what kind of settings you need to have to do the food photography right now in my hand i'm holding a sony alpha uh, 7 mark 3 on my hand with a 50 mm uh, lens on it uh, the reason i use 50 mm lens is because it is a prime lens and it gives the best quality of food picture possible uh, a lot of people prefer using the 35 mm or some people prefer using a 85 mm that is up to you however you want to use it but if you got a 50 then your work is done uh, the second thing i want to talk about is the settings now settings also plays a crucial part as we all know uh, the setting there are two basic settings that you need to arrange in your camera before taking any food picture The first thing is the aperture now when you're clicking a food picture You need to make sure your aperture is in certain range and not over it So I like prefer using 3.5 or f2 Aperture for my food photos because then it is the time I get the best kind of bouquet in my photographs and the second thing I want to talk about is the ISO. Now the ISO can range between 100 to 400 to even 800 if the pictures are not coming out that bright. 
but nothing above 800 because once we go above 800 we'll start losing on the image quality so whenever you clicking a food photo uh, make sure your iso settings is range between 100 to 400 and that is where you get the best picture possible so i hope you guys have learned a lot today uh, from this food uh, photography tutorial video and we expect to see some of your food photos in uh, in our instagram you can dm us on our instagram and our handle goes by the name restog digital you can uh, send your photographs there or if you have any queries regarding food photography regards to the gear regards to the setup regards to where do i buy the props you can always go to our instagram handle and messages there and we'll be really glad to help you with the information thank you all we will see you in the next video thank you